Hi, good morning everyone. I am J. Suresh Kumar, working as an assistant professor, Department of English, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Thiruchankudu. Today we are going to see English for Employability paper, SEM 5, Unit 1, Grammar 2. The topics covered in the unit are concord, tenses, active and passive voices, relative classes. What does it mean by concord? The word concord is derived from the Latin for agreement which when applied to the English grammar, the term is defined as a grammatical agreement between the two words in a sentences. The three types of concord are grammatical concord, proximity concord and a notional concord. The agreement between the persons, groups, nations, etc. The concurrence in attitudes and feelings are determined in the concord. The general idea of the concord is that a verb must agree with its subject in the number or a person. Second topic, tenses. A tense is a form of the verb that allows to express a time. A tense of the verb tells as when an event or something exists when a person did something. There are three types of the tense, past tense, present tense and future tense are the three main types of the tenses. The four different forms of tenses are further classified into twelve forms. The major four forms are simple tense form, continuous tense form, perfect tense form, present continuous tense form. The tense can be defined as a word from the use to indicate the time of occurrence of an incident concerning the moment of speaking. The third topic is active and passive voice. The active and passive voice are the two grammatical voices. Voice refers to the form of verb that indicates when the subject or a acts is the receiver of the action. When the subject or platforms the action is an active voice. When the subject receives the action it is a passive voice. Example of the active voice and passive voice, let's see one by one. The active voice, he loves me, example, he loves me, it's a direct mood, active voice. A passive voice, I am loved by him, it's a passive, that means the action is said by in the indirect way. The structure of the active and passive voice, subject plus verb plus subject, it is a structure of active voice. The structure of the passive voice is subject plus verb plus subject, it's a structure of passive voice. Next topic, the relative class. A relative class or a dependent class that give a reader more information about the another noun in sentences. A relative class gives more information about someone or something. We can use a relative class to combine class without a repeating information. All relative classes describe a noun. They begin none of these relative pronouns and relative adverbs. A relative class are formed with the pronoun who, which, whose or that with the adverbs when, where or why.